Hello, this is Daniel from Sound Headquarters. Today we're going to be building paintable acoustic panels this time. These are 24 paintable acoustic panels for this client. And this is a standalone building that we're doing as a little sneak peek. And there's the building. Very cool spot, multi-studio building. Very cool. We always love working outside as well. So here's a little setup and we're going to start with building our frames for the panels. And our first cuts are going to be at 48 inches. And I'll have all of the cut info up on the screen as well. So we're going to make sure that we measure from both sides of the lumber to make sure that there's uh, to account for any variation in the length of the wood. Sometimes it can be off by an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. So we're just measuring from both sides, getting our line there at 48 inches, and we are going to cut. We're going to get all of our pieces cut. So for this project, since it's 24 frames, that's 48 pieces of four foot lengths that we need to prepare before we move on to the shorter lengths. So here we go. We're just getting all of those cut before we move on to the tops and bottom pieces of the panel, which are cut at 27 and a quarter is where we make our mark. You'll see right there. I'm going to make my pencil mark at 27 and a quarter. And then here's a shot of how I align the saw blade. So my mark is at 27 and a quarter, but I align the saw blade to the right of my pencil mark. This gives us the right final dimensions so that the panel hugs the insulation and it's a nice snug fit and the insulation is not going to move within the panel. So we're doing these two at a time and just making sure that the lumber is all lined up so that our cuts are equal and just going ahead and getting all 48 of those cut and prepped. And then we'll put the saw away and we can begin assembly. So I align all of my pieces on the ground because the distance with the drill being on the ground, you'll see how I do it here, gives us enough clearance from our screws to clear the router blade. So I lay the drill on the ground there and I just slide it perpendicular with the ground. I use the floor as a guide to drill into the frames. We do two pre-drills with the drill bit to make sure the wood doesn't split when we drive our construction screws in. And we use three inch construction screws here. And another thing we do as well is that we align the wood to make sure that the outer corners, that the wood doesn't have any imperfections or as, or as little as possible imperfections on the wood on the outer corners. That way when we run it on the router, we have a nice consistent flat 45 degree beveled edge, which you'll see coming up here. So we're just driving our two three inch construction screws into each corner. And we're gonna go ahead and do that for all 24 of these frames. So you see me sighting down the boards as well, just to make sure there's no warps or, or any sort of weird knots or anything in the wood. And here's just a little time lapse of me getting all 24 of these frames built here. It was a nice day when we did this, so always nice to work outside. And there we go. So here's the router. You can see the 45 degree chamfer bit that we have on this router here. And once I start pushing this frame through the router, you'll see the profile that this leaves on the frame. This is what gives us our nice 45 degree beveled edge that you see on other acoustic panels as well. Uh, but these ones are wooden frames, so the way that we have to do this is with the router. So the first pass on the router takes away most of the mass of the wood, and it's more of a rougher cut. And then the second pass finalizes that cut and makes sure that we get anything that the first pass missed. So you'll see the profile that that leaves on the frame right there, that nice 45 degree beveled edge. And this kicks up a lot of sawdust, very messy, so it's always nice to do this outside. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead here and get all 24 of these done. So two passes for every single length of wood on each frame. There we go. And then we will cut to a clip here that will show you the, uh, the final profile that this leaves on the frame. So there's that nice 45 degree edge. And then once all of these frames are done, we're just gonna make sure that that little small lip or any sort of cut marks from the router bit that we sand away. So there's all 24 frames routered and they are all ready for sanding. And we will cut to a clip now showing how we sand these frames. So just to get that little rough edge off, just enough to make sure that that little edge is gone, 
and that there's no burrs or anything that's going to catch on the fabric once we start stretching and upholstering the fabric on these panel frames. So we want to make sure that it's all nice and smooth. And I'm going to cut to another time lapse of us getting all of these done. And we use either 80 grit or 120 grit, whatever we have uh, in stock at the time. And there's Christian starting to sand all the frames while I'm inside the studio starting to work on the upholstery. So here's the fabric here. We're using an unbleached linen. My supplier didn't have a traditional canvas, but this is the closest thing to a traditional canvas that you would see on uh, like an art uh, piece. And this unbleached linen is breathable enough that the acoustic panel can still be effective. Now, when, when you do gesso this and prime it and paint on it, it will lose a little bit of the effectiveness. Uh, but we explained that to the client and the client was totally okay with that. For them, they really wanted these panels to be paintable uh, to fit with the aesthetic that they're planning for their studio here. So since this fabric is not stretchable, it's a little bit different of a technique uh, that we use compared to our four-way stretch fabric when we make our usual panels. So you'll see here the technique that I'm using to fold the corners over. And we have to be a little bit more, more careful, more finesse on with this type of fabric when it's not stretchable. So you'll see I get the first corner, first corner secured, and then I tension against the short side, get that corner secured. And then I'll neatly fold this over because the whole, the whole goal is to have the front face of the panel to be as seamless as possible uh, because the rear of the panel will be against the wall, it won't be visible. So we want to make sure that the front face is nice and seamless and that the fabric is all taut properly. So we get all four corners and then I tension the first side the first long side, and then tension the second long side against the first side, and then we get each short side. Now this we're just pulling and just making sure that the fabric lays flat on the frame before we secure it down with the staples. And we're using quarter inch staples, and we're using a pneumatic stapler. It saves a lot of time, but if you have just a handheld construction stapler, that works totally fine. So here is our frame with the unbleached linen on it without the insulation inside. And we're gonna get all 24 of these done. And this client did not want any rear fabric on these panels. Normally we would upholster both sides, but for this client, they wanted the ability to take the insulation in and out uh, so that when they send these panels to artists to paint, it's less heavy and it's easy. It's just easier to manage and easier to transport. So here's our Rockwool Comfort Board 80. This is the acoustic insulation that we use in our acoustic panels. And just doing a little trim there, sometimes it can be off by eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, just putting that insulation inside of our frame. And here's all 24 of the finished panels. So in the next episode, we are gonna be doing the installation of these acoustic panels in all three rooms of this building. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, soundheadquartersinc at gmail.com. Leave a comment below. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Daniel from Sound Headquarters. Peace out. Take care.